this morning. Blessed the Lord woke me up this morning. We have the activity of your dinner.
Yeah.
Sometimes we think our sources, just our money, period. 
God. And if you read this story here in chapter 8, chapter 7, it tells about God uh, bringing the Israelites out of slavery. He brought them out of a place uh, uh, of darkness. He brought them out of a place of deception and deceit and, and just a place of, 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 you know, a place of bondage, a place where, where their gifts weren't welcomed in, and a place where, you know, I heard God say that your gift will make room for you and bring you before greatness. Therefore, uh, the enemy was on their tracks, and God was bringing them out of Israel. He was bringing them out of slavery. He was bringing them out of captivity. And the enemy, Pharaoh, was on his tracks, on their tracks. Same today, the enemy gets on our tracks when we're in the right place with God. When we begin to move in position ourselves to receive yeah. From God, the enemy is on your tracks. Come on, come on. Amen. Amen. And he may come as a friend. Come on. He may look like your sister or brother. Come on. He, might, he might look like that person sitting next to you in your classroom. Come on. He comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Amen. It doesn't matter. Amen. Come this on. is why I believe God tells us to be watchful. Yes. Be watchful in the word. Be watchful for what you're praying for. Yeah. Be watchful because the enemy is always on your tracks yeah. to put you back where you're trying to come from. Right. Yeah. Amen? Right. Well, anyway, the enemy, he has opened up, God has opened up the Red Sea. Yeah. He has fed them with manna. He gave them drink from a rock. He clothed them. Their clothes did not wear out. Ooh. All right. 40 years. in the wilderness to be blessed and to be a blessing. How many of us in our wilderness we get tired, we get weary, we get worn, and we want to give up. But I want to tell you, if you don't give up in the wilderness, God is in the wilderness with you anyway. All you have to do is take some time and look back over your life how far he brought you. He split the Red Sea for you and allowed you to walk through with the or dry. Your enemies were dry. Right. Yeah, you may not can visibly see it, Come on. but if you know the word of God and you know the truth and the truth sets in your heart, yeah. you know that it was God who brought you out. Wow. So don't get it twisted. Amen. 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 Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, Amen. there's a blessing in your will. God has done all these miraculous acts and then he gives them directions. Yeah. Here comes the prescription. Oh, and he says to them, obey my command. Yeah. Because I am bringing you into a good land yes. or a new place. I have blessed you. Don't forget me. Yeah. Can you hear him saying, don't forget me? Don't forget me. When I give you that, when I give you that house. When I increase your finances, don't forget me. Don't forget me. I am not the Lord, your Lord who brought you out. Don't forget me. Amen? He's bringing you into a good place, a good land. And if I can testify for just a moment, God has brought me into a good place, into a good land. This is a true story. Because the enemy was trying to destroy me. Yeah. See, when God is, is raising you up in Come something, on. the enemy, it disturbs the enemy. Is, oh, no, I got to think of something. I got to yes, think of something Ooh. to weigh her down. I can't even stand no more. I can't even feel no more. I can't even no more. I can't even stand no more. Oh, my God. I got to think of a new friend. I got to get out of here. So sometimes he sat me in the church. 
Hallelujah. And my God is alive. Oh, hi. 
outside of yourself than you ought. Because God is hot. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Come on. His ways are hot than your ways. Yeah, you made good grades, but it wasn't on you. Yeah. It was the Lord. Yes, it was. It was the Lord. Children, you want to be blessed. The Bible said, obey your parents. Children of God, you want to be blessed. Obey your God and remember him. In your house, he said, talk about me. Yes. While you're sitting at the dinner table. Yes. Talk about me. Why are you watching TV? Talk about me. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. Talk about him at school. Yes. Don't be ashamed of the Lord. Right. Don't be ashamed of the Lord. That's your inheritance. Yes. Don't be ashamed of your inheritance. Yes. Because they don't see the light on you. And they're going to be wondering, what is that? Yeah. Yeah. They different. They don't do nothing nobody else do. Come on. Everybody do the same thing. That's how a lot of us get caught up in drugs and that's wow. Wow. That's wow. And, 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 and drinking and all this because it's a fad. It's like everybody do it the same, same thing. thing. Anything. Stop. 
look at it and listen. It's for the voice of God to speak. Stop, look, and listen. And I learned that in elementary school. And I'm 43 years old. I don't know if they still teach me, but <laughs> that's a good thing to know. Stop, look, and listen. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to who you're hanging with. Because you're just not anybody. You're not average. I don't care if it's a family member. Buddha a Buddha out of the way. Just like that. I love you, but I can't do this. I'm going a different, in a different direction, but if you should need me for anything, I'll be over there. Yes. Amen. Yeah. And they're going to beat you up for it. So, hey, get ready for it. They're going to persecute you. They're going to point fingers. They're going to talk about you. You're going to hear uh, other people come saying things that somebody else said. Uh -huh. All of that. So be ready to be persecuted, but just know that God is your strength. Yes, he is. And God is the light of your life. Yes, he is. And if God be for you, who is be against you? Yes, he is. Yeah. 